you doing, buddy? Working your heart and in some cases they are telling us where the Ba'ath Party officials are and in other cases they're telling us um, I know that some of the people who took some of the antiquities out of the museums before the war ever started in some cases motivated by pure by, by pure motive in other cases possibly with a view towards selling uh, on the black market but be that as it may the the truth is that we have had a number of Iraqis give back to our control some of the antiquities uh, of that country and there will be more does uh, Tommy Frank think uh, Saddam Hussein is still alive The answer is I really don't know. I will say that on a given day, I'll read some uh, some reporting that says, oh, well, he was certainly killed. I, I, at the same time, I'll read some reporting that, that will say, oh, oh, no, I saw him about 10 days ago. And so actually today, I don't know whether uh, uh, whether Hussein and, uh, and his sons are alive or dead, uh, but I'll say the same thing that I said uh, in a session last evening. Uh, I have seen nothing over the last uh, week or two th that convinces me that he is still alive. Well, you don't have to comment on this, but I'm going to assume you didn't send him a birthday card today. <laughs> Actually, uh, we were pretty attentive to the fact that this was, uh, that this was uh, Saddam's birthday because... Um, there still is a lot of bath, uh, bath party interest in the country of Iraq, and it, we still catch these pockets and these isolated groups wanting to stir up trouble in Iraq, and so all of our people have pretty much been, been on the lookout, uh, not in celebration of, uh, of Saddam Hussein's birthday, but certainly in recognition of the fact that today's the day. Uh, the short answer is yes, I do. Um, I think if you look back over the last week or two, you'll find that we go into between five and ten sites a day and, uh, in order to exploit the sites, and these are all sites among the, I think, 950 to 1,000 that we were aware of uh, for some period of time. And what we want to do is get into every one of them. And, and for sure, we will find in some cases 55-gallon <coughs> um, drums, in other cases, uh, and, and they're full of something. And in other cases, we'll find laboratory equipment. Um, but what we have to take a little bit of time and do some analysis with is to figure out whether this is dual use uh, gear that's associated with fertilizer or whether it's associated with some form of water purification or whether it may be associated with weapons of mass destruction. And so um, our analysis will be pretty thorough in each case. And we won't be in, in any real big hurry to lay out any preliminary findings, Lou. And I suspect you probably understand that. General, thank you so much. I know these are, are hectic days, as I said, especially with your boss in town. Well, Freddie, again, good to see you. Would you see me, please? Mm. The camelman is a very good friend of mine, and his wife told you he didn't take the